friends, welcome to this week's edition of ONW Now. I'm Johnny Robinson. And I'm Marie Freeman. This week we'll take a look at the interpersonal skills class, an amazing save by one of ONW's Eagle Scouts, and we'll take it to the halls to learn what it means to be a Raven. Let's get it started. During this year's homecoming week, students and staff here at ONW will be asked to participate in a project to unify the Ravens as a family. Immediately after this episode of ONW Now, teachers will hand out Raven Family Unity pins. The homecoming committee asks that staff and students wear their pins throughout homecoming week and beyond. The story behind the pins is that I was able to visit a lot of schools across Kansas last year and I noticed that a lot of schools like us have a lot of posters and t-shirts about the pride for their school. But one thing I noticed across the state is that many schools focus just as much on the unity and the family aspect of being, a, of being one school um, and that's something that I haven't seen a lot of here so I wanted to bring that right here to Northwest. Deaf Awareness Week is an internationally recognized holiday that celebrates the unique culture, heritage, and language of deaf people across the world. Jacob Guernsey and Jessica Brake are here to tell us more about the importance of this week. Next Monday marks the beginning of Deaf Awareness Week, a week used to celebrate deafness and human rights. With the Kansas School for the Deaf down the road, we look at how important this is for the community. For Jacob Guernsey, this has been Jessica Brake. Now back to the desk. Many students at Olathe Northwest are unaware of what the IPS class is. IPS stands for Interpersonal Skills. This is a class that gives general education students the opportunity to work with their special education peers in an integrated environment. I joined IPS because um, I'd seen a lot of the kids around. I've been friends with Jacob for uh, since sixth grade. Um, and. He, I've been volunteering with them and he told me I should join so I did and it's just a fun class. I love interacting with the kids. The most thing fun it was when we get to play outside and kid ball. Unity has been a theme throughout this week's episode of ONW Now. Addison Smith and Sarah Miguel asked students what it means to be a Raven. Here's a short PSA on what they said. Being a Raven means being a proud student. It means that you're being nice to everybody, and um, also it means that you're being nice to the school. Beating East, having fun, making friends. Being a Raven means pride to me. The best way to unite is in Olathe Northwest is to get involved in sports and stuff. I think one of the best ways to unite Northwest together is to just be outgoing you know, of everyone, you know, and just go join a club, go, you know, join an activity, you know, really be positive about school. It means respecting everyone and their backgrounds no matter where they come from. Being a Raven to me is pretty dope. I think we have a good school community. We have a lot of fun together, uh, fun at the games, do cool stuff together on the weekends and hang out. Uh, showing as much school spirit as you can. Lots of teamwork, I think, helping your classmates and schoolmates. Just being there for your school, showing up to the games, all that, all that kind of stuff. Let's throw it over to Haley McCormick and Jay Curl for an update on Raven Athletics. Welcome to Game Day, Raven fans. I'm Haley McCormick here with Jay Curl, bringing you updates on Northwest Athletics. Today we are going to bring you updates on soccer, volleyball, football, gymnastics, and tennis. The Ravens soccer team took the field against Shimish Northwest Tuesday, September 18th. The Ravens outplayed the Cougars, winning the game 4-1 with goals by Johnson, Ouellette, Beard, and Dinkle. The next game will be Tuesday, September 25th against Olathe West. The Lady Ravens volleyball team played Shimish in East and Olathe West on Tuesday. The girls absolutely dominated the night, winning both games. Lindsay Heller had some huge hits throughout the night. Josie Peterson, Abby Copeland, and Katie Parks also played big roles in the front row. They will play next at Olathe North on Tuesday, September 25th. The Raven football team battled it out with Shawnee Mission East the last Thursday night. Unfortunately, the Ravens had a tough time making any plays and wound up losing the game 41-0. This is the Ravens' third loss of the season, so hopefully they can battle back with a win this week against the Lawrence Lions. 
The Raven Gymnastics team competed at Shawnee Mission North Invitational last Saturday. It was a huge meet with 16 teams, and Brooke Illman placed second on the bars. Their next meet is, tw is the 24th at Mill Creek. Last Saturday, the Lady Ravens tennis team finished fourth out of 18 teams in the Liberty Invitational Tournament. The Ravens defeated Liberty North 5-4 in the first duel, and in the semifinals, they lost 9-0 to Kickapoo High School from Springfield. The four wins consisted of two doubles teams and singles from Mallory Brown and Jocelyn Mattingly. Their next meet is this Wednesday at Free State. That's it for your sports updates. Before we send it back to the desk, check out this quick Dig Pink promo. Come out to Olathe East on October 8th to watch our Olathe High School volleyball teams and to support the Dig Pink movement. Dig Pink supports female breast cancer patients and their families. Come be part of the cure. All right, we have some outstanding Ravens who do amazing things at our school. Here's Ainsley Heisey and Rosie Boswell with the story on one of O&W's Eagle Scouts. This summer, an Olathe Northwest student, Brian Hare, received an impressive award in the Boy Scout community. So I saved my scout leader from drowning. We were on a rafting trip with our scout troop, and we went under a tree, and my scout leader fell overboard, and he was clinging onto the tree that we had went under for dear life, and so I basically ran back and had to swim him to shore. So after I saved my leader, we had basically gone back to the campsite and then I had administered first aid on my, him and then I had administered first aid on myself. Not only did Brian receive an award, but he was recognized by Fox 4 News on the evening show. Aside from the popularity, he still follows the Boy Scout slogan, do a good turn daily. I like, I've helped someone more than just going beyond like helping them like unload groceries in a car. I've helped save someone's life basically. For ONW Now, this has been Ainsley Heisey and Rosie Boswell. Now back to the desk. Last week was National Suicide Prevention Week, but there is still more that needs to be done for detecting signs of suicide and suicide awareness as a whole. For more information on how to help with suicide prevention, check out Tressa McKiff's written story on our website. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at ONW underscore Raven Daily and keep up to date with our website at ONWRavens.net slash Raven Daily to read all the latest Raven news. For Reeve Raymond and Landon Daniel, this has been Johnny Robinson. We'll see you next week, Ravens.